It's this moment. Mesquite ISD students staging a demonstration outside Horn High School on Wednesday that has some community members talking. There's been a lot of um, racist things happening. Yukia Swain's children attend Horn High. She says students are speaking out about alleged unfair or questionable treatment by administrators and protesting recent disciplinary action taken against a popular teacher whose students claim supported them. They're requesting um, and demanding that that teacher be brought back. Swain and others claim procedures school administrators recently put in place after several fights broke out on campus are the main source of controversy. An email we've obtained shows administrators began requiring teachers to walk students to and from lunch. Parents say vending machines were turned off as a disciplinary measure for students. One teacher voiced concerns last week. But she said it was a school to prison pipeline and uh, in a school that is predominantly black and brown. In addition to the protest, petitions are also circulating in support of that teacher who'd been placed on leave. I talked to a spokesperson from Mesquite ISD who told me there's not a lot the district can talk about publicly right now because it involves a personnel issue. The school district is aware of the petition, but the spokesperson claims a lot of information in it isn't accurate. According to Mesquite ISD, the directive to escort students to lunch came as more of the high schoolers started coming to campus and to provide more supervision while testing was in place. Though that internal notice mentioned the change is due to the, quote, issues that have popped up during lunches. As far as the protest, the school district says it supports the students' freedom of speech. You can't be in a position where you say you are an advocate for students and not listen to them. In Mesquite, I'm Devon Fernandez.